everybody. Martin of Flicking Feathers again today. Trying a teal blue and silver. It's an absolutely cracking wee fly. Um, works great for browns, rainbows, sea trout in the salt and in the lochs and the rivers. It's, it's a very versatile pattern. Well worth having in your box. As always, we'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel get access to the monthly tying classes that we do online and enter the giveaways alternatively you can uh, subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified of the new videos that's all appreciated so I've got my hook my vice, this is a Kamazan B175 and this is a size 12 and I don't really go any smaller than a 12. Go up to a 6. Um, for the sea trout and that. But 8s, 10s, 12s. Probably the most most commonly used. I've run on just some Uni 8 in black. Now my tail is going to be golden pheasant tippet. And you pick a feather that is a size like that so that the bands um, the black bands are like a shank length apart more or less there's a couple of kind of thin ones and I'm just going to take them away get them up at the road and then Grab the feather and come in I just cut away the number of hackle bar, uh, fibers you need and draw the feather away right, Don't try to pull away these loose fibers I'm just going to offer that in Have a single turn right on that black bar At the back there at the tie-in point. Then I'll come and I'll trim my waist the length of the body and I'll get my rib which is just silver wire. Take a turn and draw that waist piece into it's the length of the body as well and just take the thread up. Keep your thread turns square and then go up and touch and turns, build a nice smooth underbody. Right, it's important that your underbody's tidy because we're having a tinsel body obviously on this fly. So I'm going to take here, I've got this is just a uni, it's a size 14, it's a double sided silver and gold. So because I want the silver side tie it with the gold side up. I'm just going to catch it with a turn and draw it in again, length of the body and come back. Now because this is the plastic mylar rather than a tinsel you can do this. Um, if you're using real tinsel you need to cut it at a taper and just tie it in with the tip. I'm going to come back just to give it a check Just, I'm going to just stop my thread just shy of the of the tail so that when I fold it, the width of the tinsel if you see like that, the width of the tinsel is not going to disrupt the tail in any way and then just back up and if you want to you can put a wee bit of glue down but I'm not going to bother I'm just going to take my tinsel up Touch and turns, and then because you've got that nice smooth body, a smooth base of thread for your underbody, it will just sit next to each other. You won't have any spaces. You get to the front, catch it off. It's 
three turns is plenty to hold it. You just don't want to get tangled up. Trim it away. Take my rib, take a full turn at the back, and then up the body. Your usual sort of four into your fifth turn. Get you up. Tighten this up and tidy it. I like to just tie it right down to the eye, come back, bend and break it away. So you've got a choice here. Traditionally the hackle would be tied first and then the wing, but um, I don't do that. Uh, I think the fly has much more life if you tie the wing first and that hackle can be moving in front of it. Um, but it's your choice. If you prefer the, sort of the look of the old style with the, the hackle tied first and then tie it like that, um, it's your fly after all. So I've got some teal. I'm just going to use a rolled wing. This is a fishing fly. Um, I don't need to be too fussy, so I've got just taking off three, four times the width of the wing, and I'm just folding it to get my wing. Something like that. No, don't worry about it being perfect or anything. These split when you fish them, and they actually move quite nicely as well uh, once they break up. Length, I like sort of short of the short of the tail. Some people like it quite long, but I like it sort of slightly longer than halfway into the tail. So just switch hands, pinch and loop, and another. We look see how I'm sitting. That looks okay to me. So just take another couple of turns just to lock everything in place. Bit of wax. trim away your waist piece and then before you go any further just I like to tidy this up and then a teal blue hackle uh, I mean you could use kingfisher blue Too big. and I'm just using this is just an Indian we Indian hen neck that I've got here I'm just checking the length of the hackle barbs. That looks no bad. And then I'll tie it in by the tip. Three turns, fold it back, and take another three. And then you can just come in, keep your thread tight, snap away that tip, take the thread down to the front, and then just fold this hackle as you wind it, just sweep it back, and wrap it. And up to you how heavily you want it hackled, obviously it will depend on the quality of the feather, how many turns you need. But I like a decent bit of colour. There's three, three and a half into the fourth, something like that. As usual, just pull this back and build my head. And that controls everything. Now you don't want to go past the stem of the final wrap of the hackle otherwise you just flatten it, you want it still to be able to stand up. At this stage I'm just going to whip finish and then got it. I'm not too worried about the hackle at the moment, just ignore it. I always like to put in two. Snap it 
away, gives you a nice clean cut. Take the thread away, and then a couple of coats of varnish and the fly's ready. And there you go, the Teal Blue and Silver, absolute classic, browns, sea trout, salmon, rainbows, anything, you know, it's a good, I like it on a middle dropper actually, in a size 12, it's, it's one of the flies I find that a rare fly that does well on the middle dropper. But there you go, get some of these in your box. So I hope that was useful, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Get lens guys, bye.